Chris, any domain will do. My domain's not my brand. I will pay for the confusion. We're good. We're willing to pay for it. I know I need it, but I don't believe that I can do it. I want it and I'll pay for it because I understand the ROI and the ability to scale. Listen, these are the five stages to domain name awareness. You can go to my LinkedIn post. I just posted it a couple uh, seconds ago. And it's interesting, like it's interesting and you need to know these five stages because these five stages come with principles. These five stages are the process of worldview. It's the process of self-view. It's the process of alignment and understanding that your domain is the biggest risk and opportunity that you have to scale. Now, no one is going to buy a domain name uh, or literally any product if you're at the first stage of like any awareness for any product, right? This is like, hey, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Anything will do, right? Let's say running shoes. Hey, any running shoes will do. It doesn't matter. I don't need the best running shoes. And then you get to like stage five and you're like, I need these $300 running shoes because they have an extra balance and, you know, uh, but specifically for domain names, these five stages encapsulate the journey that a founder goes on, the journey that a startup or VP of marketing goes on to understanding that, hey, listen, a domain is an asset. It's not a marketing expense. It has a direct correlation and a direct impact on my ability to scale. But they have to go through these. Now, it's interesting because there's some domains that we sell in two weeks. Uh, I think one was like in a week. And, but others take like years. I mean, we've had some domains that take two years. And, I mean, it was a process. We actually had to wait for the marketing team to leave uh, and a new marketing team to come in that understood this. And, and then they were already at a level five because of uh, past experiences, because of past. They understood this because in past businesses, they had acquired the raw version and understood the impact from not having that raw version. Now, pain is the best lesson, okay? I talk about uh, carrot.com. And I don't know the full story behind it, but there was carrot.co. They rebranded. And we see that happen quite a bit when a dot-com gets taken. Whoever owns the dot-co or some of these other brands, sometimes they rebrand because they realize, hey, wow, this actually has impacted us significantly. This other company owns the global positioning. Remember the seven dimensions? I posted also a video, Experts, Experts Guide to Domain Names, Understanding Domain Names. Go to my YouTube channel. It's right there pinned at the top. First video that pops up when you go to my channel at Domain Name Broker. Check it out. Anyways, five uh, stages of awareness. Those five stages come with five principles. And those principles dictate actions, okay? And so uh, you can't if, you know, I just, you got to understand how this, the path to purchase of a domain name. Anyways, rambling on here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, share it up. If you're looking for a Domain name to buy one or to sell one, reach out to me. Love to help. It's what we do. Top broker in the world, like six or seven years in a row based on volume.